Identifying data transfer micro USB cables versus charge only micro USB cables. Is there any way for me to be able to recognize if a micro USB cable is good for data transfer as opposed to just charging? I have quite a few micro USB cables but not all of them allow me connect my Android device to my computer, I've tried both on Linux and Windows. Most of them, the majority, charge the device but don't recognize it when connected. Would appreciate any insight on this so as to avoid buying the wrong cable in the future. Thanks. No. XKCD made a good cartoon about how frustrating this is. When you identify a cable that works well, you could mark it so it's easier to find next time, maybe by wrapping it with a piece of electrical tape. I tested many cables. The majority had USB Trident but over half would not do data. Of those that do data, most would not do data in all my tests. The only cables I have that do data in all situations have two physical characteristics. Longer edge pins. Extra grooves above all pins. In the photo below. The top cable does data only in some situations. The bottom cable does data in all situations. While an old thread, people will come here through a search, as I did. The problem is to identify whether a cable marked as a micro USB cable, Triton logo, is for charging only or for data, data cables also support charging, but may be slower due to thinner connectors. The way I do this, I set up a phone with a micro USB socket as mass storage, and connect it to a computer with a cable known to be a data cable, a file manager should show the phone as a storage device. I then test other cables in this known setup, if and only if the phone shows as a storage device, the cable is a data cable. I also wiggle the cable to test for intermittent faults. To see whether a cable is USB AUC, I use a similar technique, use it to plug a USB keyboard into a phone that supports use and see if it is recognized. Is there any way for me to be able to recognize if a micro USB cable is good for data transfer as opposed to just charging? Look for the USB Trident trademark icon. It is not illegal to make junk cables but it is illegal to use trademarks without permission. To get permission to use the USB trademarks on cables requires proving the cables meet the USB specifications on data and power. Places that use trademarks without permission tend to get sued into oblivion quite quickly and easily so cables that don't meet the USB spec and have the USB icons on them are rare. I have quite a few micro USB cables but not all of them allow me connect my Android device to my computer. I've tried both on Linux and Windows. Most of them, the majority, charge the device but don't recognize it when connected. The cables not transferring USB data is a side effect of phone makers choosing USB as the standard means to charge phones. There's a long story that would explain how we got here but not answer the question on how to tell the cables apart. What it comes down to is that cables tested to meet the USB spec on power and data will have the USB icons on it. Not having the USB icon does not mean it won't work as a USB data cable, only that it has not been tested to comply with the USB spec. Many Android devices use cables built to handle more power than USB allows for charging faster than USB would allow. This means needing a way to tell a USB cable from a cable bill for more power. They do this by using the data pins on the USB connectors in the cable to identify the cable to the charger and phone. Not having the USB icon on a cable can mean it's a cheap piece of junk or a heavy-duty fast charging phone charger cable. 
How can someone tell the jump from high quality fast charging cables? As far as I know, there is no quick and easy way.